Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. Today let me show you how to use Smart Albums in Mac Photos. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than a thousand supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you could read more about the Patreon campaign, join us, and get exclusive content and course discounts. So a great tool that's available in the Photos app is the ability to create Smart Albums. But a lot of people don't take advantage of this. A regular album is when you create a new album, you name it, and then you could drag photos to that album. You're basically manually creating this album by adding photos to it. You can go into the album and remove photos from it. It's all manually built. But Smart Albums are different. The contents are automatically created based on some search criteria. So to create a Smart Album go to File and then New Smart Album. And then you can name it something. We'll just name this one Test. Then you have to give it the criteria to create the album from the photos that you've got in your library. So first is the aspect of the photo that you want to look at. So for instance it could be something like Date Captured date the photo was taken. So you could have all photos where the date is equal to a certain date. Or you could click here and do something else. Like for instance you could say if it's in the last let's say 300 days. And then you could see here that 18 items in this library match that criteria. And you could change it from days to weeks, months, or years. And there are a lot of other ways to do it as well. For instance you could have is after a certain date is before a certain date or is in the range. So you could say it's from July 1st, 2020 to July 13th, 2021. You could see 33 items are matched. So if I simply hit OK here I get the Smart Album listed under My Albums. When I select it I could see all the photos that match that criteria. To edit this I can Control click on it and choose Edit Smart Album. And then I can go in and change things. So other things you can do are date added, text that's in the caption, text that's in the file name, keywords if you've added keyword tags to your photos. It could look for people inside of the photo based on face recognition that you've set up. It could search for text which includes objects in the photo. So for instance I can say text and then look for things like boat. And you can see 12 items are matched. And then I could hit OK. And you can see any photos where it finds a boat it's placed in this Smart Album. Now here's where it gets really interesting. When you create a Smart Album it's not static. It doesn't just show those items that are there when you first create it. It's dynamic meaning that as you add new photos to your library they would automatically be added to that Smart Folder if they meet that criteria. So in this case if I took a new picture of a boat and added it to my library and then looked in that Smart Folder instead of 12 pictures I would see 13. The new one would be there. So continuing here you see you can look also for text in the title. And anytime you're looking for text you have a variety of ways to search for that text. Like if that text is included in there or does not include or it's exactly that or it's not exactly that. Starts with, ends with. You can even see if the title say is empty and you can see 521 items have an empty title. Or it's not empty. 27 items actually have a title. There's also a whole list of criteria here that matches the metadata in the photo. So for instance if you wanted to see photos taken only with a certain aperture or greater than or less than that aperture you could do that. And you could look at the list here and the list is based on all of your photos that are in there. You could look at the camera model and you could see if it includes and here you could see a list of all of the different camera models used for every one of my photos. So your list is going to look different. You've also got whether the flash was used. You've got the focal length, ISO, lens, and this list is also generated from your photos, and shutter speed as well. And for things like shutter speed you could even use ranges so you can get between a certain range. Now the most interesting of all of these things is Photo. Because hidden inside of Photo are a lot of different things. You've got Photo is or is not and then you have a bunch of different things in here. Whether it's been favorited, whether it's hidden, whether it's been edited, if it's a raw photo, if it uses HDR, the type of photo it is, like a video, a selfie taken with the front camera on an iPhone, a live photo, portrait photo, panorama, time lapse, slow mo, or burst, all different types of iPhone photos. Also, whether this is a screenshot or whether it's an animated GIF. So there's a whole ton of different ways to categorize things. So, for instance, we could say let's just see portrait photos. 
Now here's where it gets really interesting. You can have multiple criteria here. Click the plus button here and now you can see I've got another thing here. In this case date added is within the last let's say 300 days and you can see 14 items match that the photo is a portrait photo and it's taken within the last 300 days. Notice up here you can set match all or match any. So any would give me any photo that's either portrait or taken in within the last 300 days whereas all would require both of these to be true in order to be in the collection. And remember this stays up to date at all times. So the next time I take a portrait photo it will be added in here and there will be 15 photos. But since this is date added is in the last 300 days if one or more of these photos suddenly becomes more than 300 days old as time passes then fewer photos would be found in here. So I can remove this first bit here and you can see now I can just get photos taken in the last 300 days. So this album will just show me my most recent photos and then I can add another bit to it and say photo is raw and now I'd see only raw photos I've taken in the last 300 days. So this is highly customizable. Even though you've got under media types things like videos, selfies, raw and all of that this here would just show me all my raw photos at all times. But with a smart album I can have it only show me say the raw photos taken in the last 30 days or one year. And of course you can have as many smart albums as you want. So I can create a new smart album here and add it and you can see I can have two there. I can click here and add a folder and put smart albums into a folder so I can organize things. Anytime I want I can control click on a smart album here, edit it. I can duplicate it to make a variation of it, rename it or delete the smart album. So smart albums are extremely useful especially because of their automatic nature. You don't have to manually add photos to these smart albums. All you need to do is take new photos and if they are of the right type they'll go into the smart album. And then as you tag photos, favorite them and make other changes to the photos they may also get into or be removed from smart albums depending upon whether they still meet the criteria to be in there. Best of all it really doesn't hurt to create smart albums. You're not really doing anything except setting them up. So experiment with them. Add a few smart albums now. See what they can do. See how useful they can be to you. Learn how they work before you need them. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.